This is a preview of one leg, a test leg, for a hexapod robot. This is for a large robot. As you can see from the one foot ruler there, it gives you an idea of the scale of the leg. This is the upper section going down to the foot. It consists of the foot area down here. Here's the pentagraph section right here. Uh, the motors, two of the motors are right here. A third motor is you know, also going to be on here which was to give it a swing capability. There's two pivot points, an upper pivot point, lower pivot point right here. There will be a gear associated with this lower section and actually over here you can see this is the worm gear that will be going on here and the motor assembly for running that. Um, these two motors are linear actuators. The one for the kick assembly is a 2 inch throw, whereas the lift assembly is a 4 inch throw. So, uh, pantograph right here is used to basically amplify the movements from these two linear actuators. Now, manually running these will give the, uh, show the capabilities. So, if we go and run the lift, You can see as it goes that it extends and there it is all the way fully extended. Uh, the throw, that four inch throw, actually ends up translating into a 11 inch movement on the leg itself. So if I move it back, see a fairly smooth movement and it's a very tight movement on there. They are manually stopped. These motors they have internal limit switches, so they actually will stop on their own prior to hit and when they hit their internal limit switches. And there's a potentiometer output on these motors. Now the kick motor goes and kicks the piece out. As you can see there, and I'm just stopping it manually before it hits the uh, table leg there. But as you can see right here, this piece right here with this little tail here causes that movement and that's a couple feet movement right there to bring it for all the way out like that and then we bring it all the way back in like that. The motor itself actually moves about uh, at one half inch per second so um, four seconds full for a full throw on that particular part. Now, this is laying down. This is actually would obviously be a vertical leg. Right now, testing the uh, movement, making sure everything is tight. This is everything is mounted on bearings, so friction internally is very low. And um, so far, this has worked out better than I expected. Um, back over here, this portion right here is the box, the start of the box that will be where it pivots on. This is the uh, lower plate for the pivot and an upper plate for the pivot. Still have to put a couple of additional plates in here. Some of the motor controllers will go in here and probably the uh, actual computer controller will go in here also depending on how much space I have. So, so this is a, an idea where I'm at. Uh, this weekend I'll be finishing creating the pivot points right now and uh, making sure those all work. Okay.